Good afternoon, buddy. What is your name? My, my name is Derek Gregory Smith. Derek Gregory Smith? Yep. Hello, Derek. Thanks for taking some time with us to answer a few questions. How old are you, Derek? I am uh, 25 years old, and I am the sole proprietor of this vessel. Okay. Where do you come from, Mr. Derek? Are you from Philadelphia? Um, I'm from Delaware County. I was born in uh, Crozier Chester Hospital. Um, I grew up in uh, Brookhaven, and I uh, graduated from um, Sun Valley High School in the year 2006. So you did graduate high school? Mm -hmm. I have. I do have a valid driver's license. I just got to get my picture. What type of work did you do when you graduated high school? Um, welding. Welding? Yeah. So you know how to weld? Yep. That's a great career. Have you followed up with welding or you gave up on it? Oh no, I still love welding. If I wasn't out here doing this, I'd be welding. Do you have any siblings? Any brothers or sisters? I got a sister. You have both parents? Oh, uh, they're dead. Did you grow up with them or they passed away before you got a chance to get a relationship with them? Yep. So you were raised by what, like grandparents or something? Just like, just drunk. So you had foster parents or you were just yeah. bouncing from house to house? Yeah, like pretty much like foster parents. You said if you weren't out here, you would be welding. What huh? brings you out here? Why are you out here in Philadelphia? Um, I'm just out here with um, a, bunch of good, a, a, a bunch of good friends of mine and we're just holding, we're, uh, holding position. And um, we're just sitting here waiting for our black cards to come in the mail and then we're gonna um um start opening up a lot of big businesses around here so how long have you been in philly uh i've been in philly since i was 29 years old i'm 35 35 years old now so you're 35 now you've been here since you were 29 yeah and what have you been doing here have you been doing any work or like in order to maintain, in order to survive, have you been working or you just been on on, on the streets for all these years? On, on, just on the streets panhandling. So panhandling, about how much money would you make in a day, like on a good day of panhandling? Maybe like um, 30, 40 dollars. 30, 40 bucks from panhandling? What's a bad day look like? Um, 20 dollars. 20 bucks? If you don't mind me asking, when you get that 20, 30 bucks, what do you go do with it? I go buy fentanyl. Fentanyl? So that's your drug of choice? Yes. Do you use anything else other than fentanyl? Um, I use methamphetamine here and there. Methamphetamine? And here in Philly, they distribute that here? Yeah. So you get meth and fentanyl from here. Uh -huh. Now, what does fentanyl make you feel like, man? Why are you on it? Um, it just makes me feel normal. Describe normal. Does it give you a euphoric feeling? Do you feel... No, I just, I, just, I just feel normal. I just feel like I just like, like cope with society. So can you function? Can you yeah, walk, yeah. talk, do oh, all yeah, normal yeah, things? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Now, from what I witnessed, I witnessed people arching over in a in, in a tranquil position. Uh -huh. Do do you get in, un, under that state? No. What causes users to get under that state where they're just nodding off? I just want like uh, six senses here. I'm sorry, I cannot hear you, buddy. Um, I just want six senses here. Six senses? What is that? Um, I'll um like dimension down underneath the street and like watch people and fight them. So when you see other people like that that are dipped out, uh -huh. are you concerned for how you look when you utilize the substance, or you don't care? I don't even care. You don't care what people think of you. How are people out here? Are they nice to you or are they not nice? Most people are nice. Most people are nice? What's the difference between the feelings of fentanyl and meth? Um, methamphetamine speeds you up and uh, dope and fent or, uh, fentanyl burns you down. So meth speeds you up? What would make you prefer one over the other? So you prefer fentanyl over meth? Yeah. What's your favorite color, man? Uh, red. What's your favorite food? Uh, green bean casserole. Say it again, sir. Green bean casserole. Green bean casserole? Green bean casserole. Oh, green bean casserole. Did you have a favorite show growing up or cartoon? F um, favorite show? Favorite movie? Um, yeah. Like, Nightmare on 
Elm Street. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Mr. Freddy yeah. Krueger? Yeah, that's it, buddy. Music, you have a favorite artist, favorite song? Uh, let me get the butcher knife. Hold on, I'm sorry, buddy. Say, um, say it again. Let me get the butcher knife. Let me get the butcher knife, what's that, a rock song? Or is it like, what is it, like alternative rock? What is it, country? All right, do you have a favorite car, buddy? You like cars? Do you have any hobbies, any any, any skills or anything? Oh. Other, other, other than welding? I'm shooting my black car gets here, I'm gonna buy a Maybach. A uh, Maybach? You so, want a Maybach Benz? And, and I'm gonna be sitting here with a Tech 9 and a Mac 10. <laughs> Tech 9 and a Mac 10 in your Maybach. You have any kids, buddy? Tons. You, um, you said none or tons? Tons. Tons? Really? How many kids do you have? Um, oh my God, maybe a, a, a of 20. Get out of town. You have 20 children, sir? No way. Same baby mother or different mothers? Oh, 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 different. Wow, buddy. All right, then. So I think we're going to close this off. If you had any advice for somebody out there that might be struggling with the same thing that you're struggling with, what advice would you give them? Just keep going hard. Keep, keep up. Do you regret being out here? No. Nope. If you had a chance to change it, would you be out here still? Yes or no? Uh, yeah. Why? Why? If I have no idea. Just keep control. Like, I know I got everything I'm safe. You know what I mean? How do you eat, buddy? Like, how do you get food? Do you eat daily? Or you don't, you like skip meals? Um, I eat daily. What do, like, what do you like to eat? Um, all types of shit. You like pizza? Yeah. What's your favorite pizza? Oh, man, I have no idea. You like cheesesteaks? Yep. Hoagies? I give um, the, uh, meat to the, uh, to the uh, Islamic State at like 19th and Market. 19th and Market, you? Or, uh, one pound cheesesteak. Oh, you like the one pound cheesesteak? What What ingredients do you like on your cheesesteaks? Uh, I have no idea. You have no idea? You like animals, buddy. You like yep. cats, dogs? What do you prefer, cat or dog? Say it again, sir. I got the collars on. The collars on? I have the collars on. I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. I could barely hear you because you're speaking downwards. I'm, I'm really dope sick. Oh, you're dope sick right, right now? I feel like I have sick. You feel like, you're, like you got to defecate on yourself? Yeah. So being dope sick makes, makes your stomach loose, your bowels loose? Yeah. So if you got to use the bathroom, where would you use the bathroom? You would just go find a spot around the corner to use the bathroom? If there's anything you could change in the world, what would you change? Nothing right now. Nothing? Can I ask you a question? Who who's the president right right now? You you know who the president is? Biden. He was dead before he became president. You said Joe Biden? Yeah. So how long does this uh dope sickness last? Days, yeah. hours, minutes. Days. Starts to get painful. Yeah. What type of pains are you feeling right now? Talk to me. Uh, joint aches. Joint aches. Yeah. What about your arm, my friend? Have you been seeing what the substance has been doing? Have you been seeing, you know, what? Like, when's the last time you looked in the mirror, my friend? Like, do you look in the mirror often or no? No. No. So is it more comfortable to be in this position? Because you're like folded in half right now. Is it comfortable to be folded over? Nope. So how do you stay standing for that long? Uh, 